here we are. We're on our next adventure of Pathfinder Adventure Card Game. And this one is Underneath Sandpoint. This is the beginning of Scenario 5. Mm. And uh, this does say when you permanently close a location, you must succeed at a Wisdom or Divine 8 check or reset your hand and end your turn. Yeah, I don't know if that's a big deal personally, but whatever. All right, so nothing else special. Uh, we do have the Town Square, Thessalonian Dungeon, Shrine of Lamatsu, and the Garrison. We've been over these before. I am going to start in the Town Square, and it does say that when closing that uh, you banish a card from your hand, so hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. Uh, it does say at this location you may discard a card from your hand to explore during your turn. This card may not be recharged. Carmen, you're starting mm. at the garrison. What's it say? Yes. If you encounter a monster other than a villain or a henchman, each character at this location must summon and encounter that monster. I'm probably going to be alone, so it's probably not going to be a problem. Yep. When closing, <laughs> summon and defeat a bandit henchman with the combat difficulty increased by two. Yeah, whoop de doo right? Yeah. Uh, you want to go first or second? Well, you go first because you already have your cards out. I don't have my right. cards out yet. So I have a Goblin Pyro. Now, one thing to remember is now that we're in the Sins of the Saviors uh, Scenario 5, that cards like this are going to go away because even though he is an elite, it does say that elite cards now will be removed out of the game. So this will be the last time we fight the Goblin Pyro. So he is a Combat 8. He's dead, so we're not going to even worry about rolling because, let's face it, I kick ass! And uh, it does say, though, that after the encounter, the Goblin Pyro deals one fire damage to you. So I will use my Breastplate of Fire Resistance, and it says recharge this card to reduce combat or fire damage dealt to you by three. So I will recharge that, and then that way... I will not really be receiving any damage after all. So he is going to go bye-bye. We will not see bye -bye. Goblin Pyro anymore. So now it says I may discard a card from my hand to explore during your turn. This may... No, I don't think so. I think I'm pretty content. So uh, right. that's it for me. So Carmen? I have no weapons. So this will be interesting. Let's see what happens. It is the Scribbler. Now wait a minute. You specialize in items and you didn't draw a single item. So you actually would redraw anyways. Do I have to redraw? Uh, I think, yeah. I mean, I, I, you didn't. You specialize in items, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So you, you should actually uh, shuffle, shuffle and, and redraw. redraw. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you actually got the villain, too, didn't you? I did. It is the scribbler. He cannot stay within the lines. Um, he was bad in kindergarten, was kicked out, and that's why he became a villain. Um, you know, it's just too bad nobody really would work with him. I am so sorry, Scribbler. So it does say here that before the encounter, each character at this location summons and encounters a random monster. Do your thing. Uh, Do your thing. Oh, there's a random monster. There Evage. you go. Evage. And we're done with yes. that random monster. All right, so the Scribbler now has a combat of 24. All right. Which uh, is quite a bit. Um, man. Man. Okay, so uh, I just have to defeat him once. So do I want to try to temporarily close this? All I have to do is uh, banish a card, which I could banish this Black Arrow Ranger. It's not that big of a deal. That would close this down. So if you do beat him, we know he's going to well, go into one of these two. Well, he'll go to one of those two. What do I you think, think that's a good idea. All right, well, I'll banish the Black Ranger, and then that way uh, we're set up to where we can... Uh, All right, well, I have my Dexterity plus 1d8 plus 1. Um, and then I've got my Blessing of Iomedi, which I should just go ahead and use that. I get to add 1d12, and this gets recharged because it is a dexterity check. Mm -hmm. And 2d6s, um, I will discard something. What should I discard? This medallion. Yeah, and then you've got your Belt of Giant Strength, don't forget. So that, that doesn't, a permanent no, one. no, it doesn't. No? This is a dexterity check. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. all right. So, let's do this. So, what are you? How much are you rolling now? And what's your? What do you? What's your? What oh, are you okay, already? Okay, okay. Thank so you. Thank I have you. Plus one. Plus uh, three. So that's four, and then five. So plus five, right? So then he, you need to roll nineteen with those dice. Mm -hmm. So and you got the potential of twelve, twenty. Oh yeah, yeah. I think you got it. Well, at least I hope. And there's 12, there's 22, 22 right there. 22 right there, all okay, right. Okay, so the Scribbler has been beat up. And uh, so that means 
Uh, he's going to go into one of these uh, areas here, so that means give me a uh, blessing out of the box, please. Thank you. And then also, it does say here, now you need to try to permanently close this, which you would summon and defeat a bandit henchman. Mm -hmm. And I believe that puts him at a combat 10. God, I am so sick of... I mean, here we are, scenario five, and we're still summoning these stupid bandit henchmen. I, mean, I know. For the love of all that's good and holy, I mean, is this yeah, so ever going to end? Yes, I've got ten, so I have my, uh, these two dice automatically. Okay, so it does say, before the encounter, recharge a card of your choice from your hand. So, any card, I'll just recharge, recharge it. I recharge my belt of giant strength. All right, and uh, he will be a combat ten, because it does say that he'd be increased by two. So, you've already got a five, right? I... Yes. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. No, I only have a four at the moment. So you would just need to roll a six with those two dice to be able to a close this A six with down. these two dice, huh? Okay. I mean, I could give you the blessing of Callista if you felt like it was necessary. No, hold on. I'm trying to... I could recharge a card to add a d6 plus one. So. Do it. Do the holy candle. I. Why not? Yeah. I mean, because the holy candle's not doing us any good at the moment. So. Yeah. All right. So now I have a plus five. And he's beat. All right, so go. this location has been closed. Now this says, eight. when you permanently close a location, you must succeed at a Wisdom or Divine 8 check mm -hmm. or reset your hand and end your turn. Reset your hand and end your turn. Who cares? Uh, yeah. Maybe it matters. So these are all gone. <laughs> all right, now um, it does say on closing, shuffle together any weapons and armors remaining in this deck. And uh, basically it could be, oh, I'll get that. There's an armor, there's an armor, and there's that. Okay. I have Poog. All right, so we have a giant Bane dagger plus mm -hmm. one. Is it dexterity, Chuck? It is a dexterity, yeah. Yeah, and a heavy pick, leather armor, half plate, and a I might, scimitar. I might want some of the that other stuff. Ones, the other ones suck. The other one would... Well, you want to look at that just to see if it would be even worth it. The giant Bane dagger, even... Giant Bane Dagger for your combat check. Reveal this card to reveal your dexterity or range die plus 1d4 plus 1. You may additionally recharge this card to add another 1d4 or another 3d4 against a Bane with a giant trait. Eh, it's not bad, but how many giants are we going to fight from here on out? I don't know. All it's going to do is basically give me 2d4s instead of a d8. All my other weapons give me a d8. Right. So, so those will be there and we'll flip that. Um... Now, I need you to pick one of these and put it there and put the other one on there. All right. Don't look at it. There you go. Now shuffle that, and I'll shuffle this one. Yeah, yeah. a lot of shuffling Lots going of on. shuffling. Yeah, well, shuffling. already uh, closed the location down. I mean, geez. We're, we're bad. We bad, and we know it. Shaboom! Shaboom! Scribbler. <laughs> it's not going to be scribbling out of the lines well, anymore. We know for a fact not that... Not on my watch. <laughs> not on our watch. Oh, crud. Damned Look if he'll what do I that did. Up. Yeah, I that was brilliant. I can't shuffle worth nothing. How about we don't expose what's in the deck anymore? <laughs> there's I a did. blessing of Callistra in there. I saw that. <laughs> well, there's three blessings in the shrine. So I will uh, take my turn while you're doing all that. All and right. Then, all right. I'll try uh, not to mess it up. Again. Amiko, get ready to uh, take a drink. We're playing the Grey Elephant Ooh. Gaming drinking game. I'm going to mispronounce her name most likely, and you will be required then to take a drink. Are you guys ready? I want to give it a shot. Here I go. Uh, Amiko Katsichu. Ka Kajitsu. Uh -huh. Amiko Kajitsu. Boom! I think I got that one, guys. Come on. She's pretty. She is gorgeous. I'm going to woo her. And her tattoo's awesome. Her tattoo's badass. I want that. All right. Now, it does say here that to acquire, it is a Charisma Diplomacy 7. My Charisma is a D6. Uh, then I get a plus 2. So, I need to roll a 5 with a D6. And if I do, then I get her. And uh, she's pretty cool. She's pretty cool, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, well, let's see what happens. And uh, You roll a 3? Unfortunately, she does not want to have anything to do with me. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I tried, Paris. baby. I tried. Oh, well, no biggie. No loss. Um, and then I think I'll just end my turn there. So, all right, Carmen, back at you. Ooh, where should I go now? Well, he's in one of these two. Go you the could shrine. go to there, or if you want, swing over to here, and we can close this one down. I don't know. Work no, together. I like being by myself, so I can roll my D6. <laughs> I drink alone. <laughs> Blessing of Desna. Well, okay. what does it say? Intelligence Arcane Divine 5. Uh, what's your intelligence? My intelligence is a D4. Yep. That ain't happening, so nope. that's going to go bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it does say if you encounter a blessing, you are dealt two points of mental damage that may not be reduced. 
Oh, no. <laughs> well, dang it. Yeah, so you just lost uh, two uh, cards, man. Shoot. That was worth it. Should have came over here where I, I told you to come am over where I'm at. I am sorry. Yeah, you are sorry. Uh, and you, you don't I'll even get rid get, of my white crossbow. And you didn't even get a chance to get the blessing Maybe. either. That's what stinks. Because I got lots of weapons. Yeah. And then, hmm, should I get rid of a blessing or poo? Go get rid of poo. I'd get bye, rid of poo before blessing. Blessings are way more versatile. All right. So, all right. So, floop. Oh, man. And look, yeah. Man. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, the potion of healing, this is kind of actually good because you, you almost need that. So, a potion of healing. I always, as I'm bringing the card up, I get that one bit of glare on it. It drives me absolutely insane. So that is an intelligence craft. Well, the good part about it is, is I have my rune, or my robe of runes, mm -hmm. and I also have my headband of vast intelligence. So you are being, you are very intelligent at the moment. I am a smarty pants. <laughs> this says, reveal this card tattoo to your intelligence check. You may play another item on this check. All right. All right. Reveal this card to add one to your intelligence check. You may play another item on your check. So I can play both of these. Valeros is all decked out in intelligent items. <laughs> I am sophisticated. So I roll a d6. So I've got a plus three. I would just need to roll a two. And I Yay! did get this. So um, banish this card and choose a character at your location to shuffle one d4 random cards from his discard pile into his deck. Now the problem with this is, is that if you were in my location, uh -huh. I could have done this. You should have came over I'm sorry. to my location and I could have had you get, oops, I could have uh, had you get all them cards back, but now you're forcing well, me to I have to get rid of something. I wouldn't have lost all these cards if I was over there. Um, darn it, darn it, darn it. So here's what I could do. You don't need that headband anymore. Well, but this one here is an intelligence or succeeded oh, intelligence. That's okay. why. Well, so you go over there. I probably should. I probably should. I would like to be able to use this on you or give it to you. I was thinking about maybe just dumping the magic or uh, yeah, the magic studded leather armor maybe and use this so that uh, we could try to get you mm. healed. But I mean, you got your staff of minor healing. I do. I'm just gonna actually. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of it. Yeah. Discard it from your hand to explore during your turn. So I'm just going to explore. So it'll actually go on my discard. We'll put it there. Yeah, do you have to stay at that location? Um, well, it just says that to explore. So no, I could come over to yours. So if I wanted to, I could have discarded this magic leather armor, came over to your stew, and then used this on you. And then explored there, I guess. Because you may discard a card from your hand to explore during your turn. This card may not be recharged. Uh-huh. What do you think? I don't know. It's not that important. I was just thinking you should go over here. <laughs> well, I'm just getting rid of it and I'm All exploring right. again here. All right. It is a Hound of Lamatsu. Oh. So it is one of the henchmen. Ruff, 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 ruff. All right. I'm not scared of you. Uh, so it does say that... Be I don't know. I'd be scared of it. Oh, yeah. He's got a spiky chain. Before the encounter, each character at your location must succeed at a Wisdom 10 check or the difficulty of his checks increased by two for the rest of the turn. Oh, uh, he's an 18 now instead of 16. Yeah, I'm real scared. All right, so obviously I roll a d10. I get a plus uh, seven on that. So that's going to put him down to an 11 that I need to get right now. Um, I will use McMurrian's Club, and it says, For your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus 1d10 plus 2. You may additionally discard this card. You may additionally discard one other card from your hand to add another D10. If you are proficient with weapons, the difficulty that you have. If you defeat a monster while playing this weapon, recharge a random card from your discard pile. Nice. So that would be that going into there. Sweet. All right. So I can roll two D10s. Um, if I want to, I can add an additional D10 by mm -hmm. recharging a. Uh, well, actually, it says by discarding. So. Um, you may additionally discard one other card to be able to add. I don't know if it's necessary. I'm just going to roll these two. Fashion with the club. And uh, 11, that's exactly what I needed. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus what I have here. That's 18. That matches what yep. I needed. So he has been defeated. All right. And now it says banish a card from your hand to be able to close this location. What? So what? you got to recharge your card. Why do I have to recharge it? Oh, because of this thing, right? Yeah. Well, well, let me recharge You're it. Yes. Uh -huh. So I will recharge this. That goes under there. Now I will have to banish a card. Oh. 
Um. Sorry. Well, what do you think? I mean, I don't really need this armor that bad, to be honest with you. I'm just going to get rid of this armor. I'm not that worried about okay. it. Okay. Uh, then, let's see. On closing, each character at this location must immediately choose a card and recharge it. Each character may then draw a card. Okay. And uh, I don't have a card to be able to recharge. Uh, so I was going to be able to recharge that anyways. What? What's the matter? You seem confused. No, no. You must choose a card to re and recharge it. You need to recharge it from your hand. Oh, from my hand. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will just recharge the Blessing of Callister. So, and then I will be reset there. So, all right. So, uh, this closes down. And these all go away. And... Now we are down to just two, right? All Did right. I get it all done? All right. Let's hope. It does say here when you permanently close a location, you must succeed in a wisdom. But I'm done. I'm going to reset my hand anyway, so I'm not worried about it. So ready? It is your turn. Go ahead. Let's think of Aristotle, which I don't have in my hand anymore. Great. I had it, but now it's gone. Okay. Mystic Inscription. This is a barrier. Intelligence Arcane 10. If undefeated, you may banish this barrier. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, I'm not going to get an intelligence 10, I don't think. So, yeah. Let's okay. banish the barrier. So, that's gone. And then, are you done? Is that it for you? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's flip that. Should I just, I guess, just hit over here? Yes. Yeah, all right. So, it says, uh, if you play a spell with the arcane blah, 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 blah. All right, a zombie. <laughs> uh, let's see. It does say the zombie is immune to the mental and poison traits. And it says... Have the damage dealt by the zombie rounding up. Um, if undefeated, I mean, all right, he's dead. All right, he's <laughs> only a combat nine. I mean, he's weak, freaking, stupid monsters. Seriously. All right. All right, you ready? Oh, uh, this is a um, like, traitor. Uh, combat eleven. Before the encounter, discard a random ally from your hand. You don't have one. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Alright, so I get my dexterity and a d8, I believe, plus one, and I don't want to recharge something. Eh. I could recharge a blessing because I have like 10,000 of them. 10,000 blessings. <laughs> uh, He's only an 11. It's not, he ain't that tough. This is all I've got, though, unless I recharge something. Well, but no, you got plus whatever. What do you got? Oh, uh, plus four. So he's only an, uh, a seven, and you roll those? I like your odds. All right, I guess I'll... I think you're throwing too much at him. And you rolled six. a six. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. So it's not my fault you can't roll. So you were plus one, and then plus uh, three? Plus three. So I was a plus four total. Mm -hmm. You stink. Because I didn't add a blessing or recharge you anything. You stink. God. So... All right, so he beat you by one, is that right? Or two? Beat me by one. <laughs> it's not my fault you got beat up by a traitor. See, if I would have added a blessing, I would have I would have recharged it. So it wouldn't have even done anything. Now I'm going to have to discard something. Just tell me not, just don't do that anymore. It's all your fault. <laughs> it's not my fault you roll bad. What am I going to get rid of? I don't know. I'll get rid of my Blessing of Gorom, I guess. Really? i get rid of the, blood, the Staff of Minor Healing. Well, I was just thinking... Oh, wait. Actually, get rid of the Blessing of Gorom and then use the, bless, the Staff of Minor That's Healing. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. That so makes can sense. I use the Staff of Minor Healing right now? Uh, recharge this card and choose a character at your location to recharge one random card from the discard pile. I, 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 I don't, yeah, sure. Go ahead. No, it's just one. What? It's oh, you just, just get I one card? I don't roll a deal. All right. All right. Let's see. I don't remember if you're supposed to do it before combat or if you could still do it after. I can't remember to be honest with you. Ah! <laughs> I get the blessing of Coram. So do you just, is it just a recharge? It's just recharge. All right. Yep. Okay. I'm okay, ready. you're all done. About time. Okay, haste. It is a spell. So yeah, stupid light gets on there. There we go. So this does say uh, at the end of the turn, discard this card. To move a willing character in it. I don't really want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I'm just going to get rid of it. Who okay. cares about that? All right. Are you ready? You're up. All right. What is that? An intelligence 7 check? My intelligence is a d4. For what? I'm going to go over there with you. 
Oh, so now you're coming over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it's the scribbler. It is the scribbler. He just doesn't like me. Now, you All don't right. have to fight him. You want to just evade him now that we know where he's at, and then we'll what? go over here and close this down? Oh, do we want to close that down first? Well, that's what I'm saying. You just want to evade him, and then we'll come over here, sure. and uh, we'll close that down, then we'll come back, and we know where he's at now. I mean, okay. if we feel like it's necessary, I don't know. I mean, we're here. We could. I guarantee we'll beat him, well, I guess. I don't know, maybe. We could. Yeah, I mean, we could close this down, right, by beating him. So what difference does it make? Same difference, right? Yeah, probably. Okay. You going to beat him up? Yes. The thing is, we've got all these things to help us with our intelligence Yeah, check, I know. I've got, I've got these two items here to be able to help close that down. I don't know. What do you want to do? If I, if I evade him, he's still going to be there, though. It's not going to make any difference. Well, I know that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We could go over here instead and we could close that one down. It's up to you. That location stinks. Everything stinks. Um, I'll the, just be fading. This is like the opposite of the Lego movie. No, I'm going to fight him. I will fight him. Kick his butt then. Everything is awesome. So it does say before the encounter, each character's location summons and encounters a random monster. Uh, so you, you, I evaded it. it. And I got a, let me see. I got a plague zombie, thanks. It You're says, welcome. uh. Alright, so it's a, it's a combat 11 for the plague zombie. I'm gonna be rolling 2d10s. It's dead. Okay. So, there we go. Alright, that's gone. Okay. And then. Let's see. If the, fir the first time in the scenario that anyone would defeat the scribbler, he is undefeated. So. Should he have been shuffled back in then in there? He wouldn't have been defeated in over here then. He went up So if you defeat him, he's just going to stay here then. I, I didn't realize that. Sorry about that, guys. I missed it. It does say it right there. First time he is undefeated. So and I um, remembered something like that, but I don't know. So don't know. It, when you defeat him, he's just we're just going to shuffle him back in here then. So. Okay. Well, I've got my D4 plus one from you, correct? Yeah. All right. So, I've got a three, a four, plus four, I'm going to use a blessing, I'll use this one. Yeah, so you got my D4 that I give you, and then it's got a plus one on it. Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that was seven pretty plus poor. five? <laughs> so, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, you're 17 that you rolled? Is that right? Yeah. You really stunk it up. That's great. Yeah, he beat you up pretty good. I think you just lost everything. Ugh, jeez. Yeah. Wow. You're stinking it up, dude. <laughs> this is the worst game ever. Yeah, so... He actually... Um, uh, it says he's undefeated, so I think... Uh, he's undefeated we're anyway. We're supposed to take one of these now, and, and, and it goes in here, and then remember we... We're supposed to... God, we ain't had to do this in forever. We take one off the blessing of our deck, our timer deck. All right. All right, you ready? You shuffle that one, I'll shuffle this one. And now we don't know where he is. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, we ain't had that happen in forever. Good Good thing you encountered him. <laughs> that worked out well. Him. There we go. All right. This is an exciting game, I tell you what. Okay. All right, it's another Hound of Lamatsu, so I can beat this guy up. All right, so uh, it says, Before the encounter, each character at your location must succeed at a Wisdom 10 check, or the difficulty of his checks increased by two for the rest of the turn. Mm -hmm. We're not going to worry about that. Let's just, um, let's just let it increase by two. So it'll be an 18. Uh, so I will use my club, and that'll give me two D10s, and then it does say that um, I get a plus two on this as well, so I'm seven, eight, nine, uh, which means I'm just going to have to roll another nine. So I need a nine with these two dice. I think I forgot to add the two last time as well. Now, if I want to, I can discard a card, which I'm going to dis... I'll discard the uh, magic full plate armor to be able to uh, add, let me see, another d10. So I'll do that. All right. Ready? And he is defeated, mm -hmm. so he is gone. And now I can attempt to close down this location. Do you get so, to recharge your magic full I, plate? I, yeah, I do actually, because right. of uh, the club. So yes. Uh huh. So now 
succeeded an intelligence or arcane seven check. So this is not going to be easy. You you don't have any bless. Yes, yeah, you do have I a blessing. I do have That's a good. blessing. So I roll a four in intelligence, a d six. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I've got this, which will add two, and then this will add so one. Got you add three to it, and then if I use my blessing, then you get another d6, right? That would be it, yeah. So wow. I would need to roll a four with uh, these two dice. And I did oh, just wow. that. <laughs> wow. Okay, so and then when you permanently close the location, succeed at a divine eight check or reset your hand, I'm just resetting anyways. So we're going to turn that over. So when I reset, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Um, we're going to do all of these. Well, ugh. I don't know if I want to get rid of all of that. Um, well, get rid of the intelligence things because you don't need them anymore, I guess. I don't know if I need, I don't know if I need both of them. That's for darn sure. Because, I mean, that's, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think, yeah, I'm going to get rid of both of these uh -huh. and just put them over there. I'm going to keep the monkey, though, and then I'm going to draw back up, so... Get right. that potion in your hand because it's, I'm going to die. It's way down there. You're going to have to wait now. So, All right, so this location is, oh, it does say if you play a spell, blah, blah, blah. No big deal. Nothing to worry about there. So, All right, are we ready? We're. Uh, so no villain, huh? So he's over oh, here. Oh, that's right. I, I, duh, I was supposed to be checking for a villain. He is over there for sure. All right. Yeah. And the Shrine to Lamatsu, I hate that one. Yeah, I hate the Shrine to Lamatsu. All right. Well, there we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's do this. Flip it. Uh, blessing of Calistra. Dexterity four. All right. You've got that. Well, you get it. You've got a Dexterity four uh, already. I've so. got a Dexterity four. Bam. Bam. So, but you do back. take two points of mental damage, unfortunately. That cannot be reduced. So. Seriously. Yeah, no matter what. The good part is there's only one blessing left in there. So it can only happen one more. Well, no, because we... Yeah, 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 that should be right. I think there is only one more. Could be another one. I can't remember. Yeah, there um, is one more because we had to shuffle it in. Well, I'll definitely get rid of her. Okay. I don't know what else to get rid of. I could get rid of my dagger. Yeah, you probably don't need both them weapons, you think? Well, I don't know. I'm getting really low on weapons yeah, at this point. You're getting point. low on everything at this point. This, uh, this adds one to my dexterity check. I don't know if that's <clears> that important at the moment because I already have a lot. So, I'll get rid of this. All right. So one thing we got to remember too is that uh, when you defeated him here, we we did not need to do the win closing action. I don't know what we were thinking. When you defeat the villain, you just automatically get to close the location. Not to mention, you always do, no matter what, Carmen. It's not going to say it on that card. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I was trying to remember. If, oh yeah, if, you wouldn't have had to have dealt with the silly the bandit, bandit henchman. henchman. Yeah, right. we totally forgot about that. Which <laughs> we are definitely rusty at this game. Yeah. Invisibility. Um. I don't know. I'm not worried about invis invisibility, so... Alright, you're up. It's the traitor! You gonna beat him this time? Before the encounter, discard a random ally! <laughs> wouldn't, ha, it, ha, wouldn't ha. it have been funny if I'd have had the traitorous monkey? <laughs> you traitorous monkey! <laughs> Alright, I get this. Crossed longbow plus one. <coughs> uh, my D8... And do 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 You get a D4 plus one with me. Oh, right. I can't do my D6 thing. Dang it. Can't do your D6 thing. Okay. So I think we're to the one. point we should probably just dump that thing. Two. It's an item. What else am I going to get? Another stupid basic item? I know. The items stink in this game. I can't believe I... I Look, I specialize in items, and they're stupid. At this stage, we have proven Two. this whole game comes down to weapons and blessings, and that's it. <laughs> so I have a plus six, and this is what I'm rolling. Oh, you're fine. Jeez, she just needs to... <laughs> Infamous last words. Right. Hey, you got him hey, this time, look, though. I rolled a six. So, that's awesome. All right, okay. he is out of the game. So you all finished? Yes. Yes. Ooh, the blessing of Gorm. Well, I do receive two points of damage. So let's see. I will get rid of my flaming. Oh God! Do I want to get rid of the flaming mace? What if I run into that stupid get troll? Get get These are my D8s. These are my D8s. I will get rid of the monkey, and hmm, let's do. I'm trying to. Let's do this impaler of thorns. We'll get rid of those two uh, for my two points of damage. Mm -hmm. So this is. Uh, I will actually. It's a strength. I'm force, just going to so get, automatically it. get yep. it. Um, which I was going to use the monkey to explore again, but I guess not now. So, all right, you are up. Uh huh. 
It's another blessing. Yeah, two points Dang, of damage. I hate this location so much. Yeah. All right, well, I get rid of the charisma and probably the snake skin tunic. That's what it's for. Let's. Well, it does add to your dexterity. Yeah, but that's to get rid of it. It makes. I could get rid of my dagger. I mean. Yeah, that's true too. The one thing is that oh no, never mind. Never All mind. right, stop it. Stop confusing me. Okay, how do I get this? Constitution four. <laughs> I don't think you're going to. My constitution is a D6. Oh, there you go. If you get a four, it's yours. Oh, no, that stinks. All right. All right, so I am up. Oh, God, no. A crushing door. Oh, no. This ain't good, guys. I am bad at this stuff. So, um, it is a dexterity disable 13. If undefeated, each character at this location must succeed at a dexterity or acrobats 12 check or be dealt 1d4 plus 1 combat mm. damage. So, um, well, discard this card to add 2 dice to a non-combat dexterity check. Yeah, that's true. Well, what am I rolling? I'm rolling a d8, but I've got a d8 plus 1. I did increase it, so... Um, I didn't reset my hand. No, you didn't. So, yeah, well, definitely give me that. That's a non-combat? Yeah. So that would give me two more D8s then. Okay. Yeah, all right. So I need to roll a 12 with these these three dice. And I did. So, fantastic. So the crushing door did not crush me. I'm going to die. Yeah, you're probably going to fight that guy. Here, let's just get rid of these. We know we're not going to do those. Okay. All right, so you ready? You're up. Now, you don't have to fight him. You could just move. And, okay, well, this is maybe good, maybe bad. Uh, this is a Hound of Lamatsu, so he will be a Combat 18 because mm -hmm. he will be increased. Um, all right, well, let's just see what happens. Uh, I could just evade him. Yeah, you could. Maybe it wouldn't hurt you none. I don't see any point to fighting him. I don't know. There's... Oh, because it would just get rid of one more card. You want me to fight him? I'll, I'll fight him. All right. So why do you got the Belt of Giant Strength anyways? I should have that. I don't know why you we... You gave would... it to me because... Did I? Yeah, because there was some item you wanted instead. Did I? I don't know why I did that. It's items silly are... that it's in your hands. Items are stupid. It ain't good. All right. Um, this gives me a plus one. This gives me a plus two. I already have a plus three, so that's a plus five, plus six. So, plus six, so you need to roll a twelve with those three dice. I could recharge this and add another d12. Um, yeah. Yeah, why not, right? It's recharged. Why yeah. not, right? Alright. There you go. Got him. Okay. Beat him up. So, he's defeated. Mm -hmm. So, this says then, um, uh, you know, to try to close down a location, but we're not going to worry about closing the location. It says succeed at a divine six check or banish a blessing. You don't have a blessing, so okay, yeah. Let's just not okay. worry about it. Let's do this. Okay, ready? All right, a hill giant. So he is a combat fifteen. Damage dealt by the hill giant is dealt to each character at this location. So oh, gosh. A fifteen. Oh, don't, don't worry. Don't hurt me, Carmen. Trust me. This guy's going to get his butt <laughs> whooped. Um, all right, so we will use the short spear plus three. Actually, you know what? We're going to use the club instead. So that'll give me two D10s, and then I can uh, discard a card, which I will do the flaming mace um, to add an additional D10. So if you, uh, you may additionally discard one other card from your hand to add another D one D10. So that's going to give me three D10s plus nine God, I really don't need to discard, to be honest. Jeesh. Let's face it. So I've already got a nine. All I need to roll is what? Uh, six. A six with these two dice. There we go. He's dead. All right. So mm -hmm. he has been beat up. Okay. Now, this club allows me then, um, if you defeat a monster while playing this weapon, recharge a random card from your discard pile. <laughs> your little tiny discard pile. Okay. So I... Recharge the Impaler of Thorns. So now, um, I'm going to use the Sage to explore again. There we go. That's better. Woo! All right, so before the encounter, each character at this location summons and encounters a random monster. Do your thing. All right. I evaded. 
I'm gonna hide behind you. Holy crap, what did I get here? Ooh. A skull ripper. My skull oh my feels gosh. like it is being ripped. I That's do not, not want good. to encounter one of those. Um, he is a combat 14, so um, it says blah, 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 whatever. It ain't going to matter. So I will fight him. Let's see. I will use my club again, and that will give me two D10s. Mm -hmm. So he's defeated. There we go. All right. And I uh, get to recharge a card again. Boy, I really like that club, man. You get two D10s with your club automatically? Well, I get a D10, and then I can roll a normal D10. Yeah. Yeah, and then he gives me a D10 as well. I got my monkey back. All right. I feel safer already. Uh, so now let's fight him. Mm -hmm. So, and we already did the deal where you defeated him, but we technically right. did it right. So now we can actually defeat him. So um, we're going to use this time my... Oh... Let's use the club again. I don't see why not. That club rocks. Um, so that's going to give me two D10s. I will discard a card to get an additional D10. Now I'm going to use my Blessing of Gorum. Discard uh, this card to add two dice to a strength-based combat check. All uh, right, two more D10s. One, and I'm short a D10. Uh -huh. So uh, that's 5, 10, 16... And then an 8, so that's 24, plus all of my stuff, he's dead, that is game. Bye-bye! And uh, it does say that, you know, when you permanently close the location, but I don't think it matters. Wow, look at that. The One location is now closed down. Yeah, it's because we rock and roll, baby. All right, so um, the loot, we get the Fang Falchion. What is that? Okay, you guys ready? Take a drink. How do I pronounce that down there for the rewards? Fanged. Falchion? Yeah. I want to say the feigned falchion and the revelation quill. Let's check those things out real quick. Well, I have a feeling are. the revelation quill is going to help a spell user. <laughs> yeah, probably. Let's see if I can find those stupid things. So let's see. Um, there's the revelation. There's that. Okay. So let's see what we got here. This is a weapon mm, for your strength, for your... For your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die, plus 2d4, plus 2. You may additionally discard this card to add another 2d4 if you aren't proficient, blah, blah, blah. Mm. If any d4s rolled on this weapon are, are a 4, they count as a 6. Bury this card to examine the top 5 cards in a location deck and put them back in any order. Nice. That's an item. Get rid of your freaking uh, belt of giant strength. Take that. That's cool. Yay. And then I'll take this. And let me see. I have to decide what I'm going to get rid of. So... Um, that is all we get for our reward, unfortunately. I was hoping maybe we'd get something maybe a little better to upgrade some other stuff. But all right, so let's see what I can hold. I can, I'm going to have to go down to eight weapons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm at nine. I need to keep this flaming mace just in case if I ever run into a, that troll again. <laughs> it's funny to keep it just for that. I want to keep that. I think I'll get rid of one of these uh, sides. I don't think I need two of those. And then I'll keep the great axe and, and that one as well. So, all right. We'll do that. I think I might have an uh, extra blessing that I'm not supposed um, to have. I do because I picked one up. And let's see. So I've got those. I've got all, I got a bunch of blessings at the moment. I have a bless. I have an extra Iomidi. Uh, so I can only know? hold four. And uh, this Blessing of Gorm really came in handy. I'm going to hang on to that. I'm going to hang on to Blessing of Calistra. Uh, Iomedi is for... I'm can sorry, we switch ahead. blessings out? Yeah, yeah. I have another Blessing up. of Gorm if you want two of them. Um, well, I'm going to keep Iori. And then... Um, I don't need... The, I, I don't know. Do we really need the Charisma ones? I don't know. Maybe we do. Um, I don't know. I'm going to keep those. Wait, so, wait, what? Those are your options. You're not taking that one? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to keep the EO Media, which helps with charisma. This helps with intelligence, uh, non combat dexterity, and then strength. I really like to have right, two well, extra. I already have all those. And then um, I can keep. I'm looking at my items, actually, armors. because I could give you the belt of giant strength back if you want it. No, I can only hold two items. And I'm just going to keep uh, this vast intelligence and the rope. That really. Oh, I see. It, to right, me, it right. came in handy. Yeah, it did. Okay. Now, I do have the potion of healing if you wanted it. And then. Oh, sweet. 
Yeah. I've got my... I should be able to hold three allies according to this, and I've only got two. I'll get rid of the crown of, crown of charisma. What did I do with my other charisma. ally? Did I lose an ally somehow? Uh, I think you had to discard... Yeah, you, you had to uh, banish a card to close a location or something. That's right, I banished that uh, archer, didn't I? So I need a new ally, and then I'm also going to need... A new armor because so I need an ally and an armor so I need a basic armor and a basic ally so I'll just pull them out of the box so there's my half plate I'll get that for my basic and then ally a basic let's just go with a dog that sounds good I don't really care <laughs> I, it doesn't really matter I mean he'll help me explore that's all I care about so all right and then are you all set are you good um actually I think I have too many items still loots count Loot counts as well, items? It, well, it'll tell you if it's a loot item. So it says type item, see? Oh, oh right, right, right. So, I don't, I, I counted my armor as an item, so that's the problem. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, good. then you're fine. Okay, so we're all good? We are all good. All right, guys, I guess stuff. we are going to see you then on the next adventure, which will be, uh, what does that say? Rhyme school? Yep. Like a rhyme school cowboy. <laughs> dun, dun. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.